Okay. So, welcome to this particular course on air breathing propulsion and I will be the instructor for this course. My name is Ashok De, I am currently working in the department of aerospace engineering of IIT Kanpur. Uh, now, just to give you an idea about this course, what uh, we are going to discuss in this particular course and what about or what not. So, as you see the very fundamental principle of propulsion, any propulsion just to create a force to propel any device or move any device or move anything. So, that is what in a pedagogical sense one can think about the uh, uh, meaning of propulsion. Now, coming back to this particular course here, uh, this is more uh, focused for the targeting students of aerospace or aeronautical engineering and mechanical engineering who would be interested in gas turbine propulsion or gas turbine engines or aircraft propulsion something like that of similar nature. Now, what uh, we are so fascinating about uh, aircraft propulsion or air breathing propulsion, uh, if you recall the brief history it is 1903 when the first human flight was flown by Wright brothers in YO and their flight lasted for few seconds. Now, since then so that uh, particular flight that or the rather the aircraft it was operated with single piston engine, it did not have landing gear, it did not have any fuselage or any of these fancy stuff that you can see in today modern aircraft or engines. So, that is the invention towards what we have right now and then uh, followed by the 1930s I mean obviously, in between there are other development and that we will see through in the uh, detailed discussion during the lecture of the introduction uh, uh, lecture. But uh, just to give you an idea in 1930s first turbojet engine came which was sort of an uh, real uh, advancement and then uh, later on 1950 onwards we had all these turbofan engines. And what we see today mostly in civilian and military applications these are mostly by and large are turbofan engines. And there is a different generation of engines which are available today and that is the technological development which has taken place. Just having said that, so that means when you see this uh, advancement in technology obviously, propulsion or aircraft propulsion or air breathing propulsion become an inherent um, fundamental understanding for uh, this uh, technological development. And this particular course is going to be more emphasizing on this aerothermodynamic principle of this uh, air breathing engine and uh, that is what we are going to talk about and more details what is uh, going to be the content of this particular uh, course. This is a uh, brief outline that you can see and uh, what is there is uh, that uh, first we will start with some of the introduction that uh, give you an uh, brief history of this uh, propulsion and uh, aircraft propulsion or aircraft. So, that give you an overall good idea about what aircraft propulsion is all about. And then uh, we will do quick review on the basic fluid mechanics and thermodynamics which would be followed by some uh, discussion on compressible flow and maybe we can do some oblique shocks also here. Then that point onwards we will move to the all this gas turbine uh, engine discussion like uh, what are the performance parameter that would be first thing to give you uh, an idea or rather get introduced to this performance parameters as such all these things. Then we will follow by this different kind of engines or uh, their performance analysis or aerothermodynamic analysis or then we will talk about some of these uh, parts like combustor intakes nozzle and then once we have this this is pretty much the first part of the uh, discussion and that would be followed by the later half of the discussion which contains all the turbo machinery. That means, any aircraft engine as we see over the discussion that it has two components uh, one of the important 
components of the turbo machinery part which are the rotating uh, components. So, there we will do lot of discussion on centrifugal compressor, axial compressor, axial turbine and finally, we will finish the discussion with the uh, mapping of these things. So, that is pretty much give you an idea about the whole lecture and these are the books which can be followed pretty much uh, uh, these books are all uh, good books then some of the basic compressible and fluid mechanics books. So, these are going to take the whole informations out of uh, different uh, books and then uh, that would talk about all this thing. So, that is what you expect.